Hey everyone, I want to share a powerful story with you about a snake and a saw. Before you question what a snake and a saw have to do with your life, let me tell you, it's about much more than these objects. This story illustrates what happens to us when we react in anger, when we hold on to resentment, and when we don't let go of negative emotions. It's about the self-destructive consequences of wishing harm upon others. So here is the story. One evening, a snake entered a carpenter's home and accidentally clipped itself on a handsaw lying on the ground. Thinking the saw was a threat, the snake bit it, only to injure its mouth on the sharp blade. In its anger, the snake tried to suffocate the saw by wrapping its body around it and squeezing with all its might. The more it squeezed, the more it hurt itself. Of course, the saw remained undamaged, while the snake, consumed by its rage and resentment, ultimately died from its self-inflicted wounds. This story carries a powerful message. When we react impulsively to those who hurt us, or when we perceive someone as a threat without thinking clearly, we often end up harming ourselves more than anyone else. Imagine a situation at work where a colleague takes credit for your idea. Your immediate reaction might be to confront them angrily or to sabotage their work out of spite. In the heat of the moment, it feels justified. But in the long run, this behavior could damage your professional relationships and reputation, much like the snake's actions led to its own demise. Consider another example in personal relationships. Suppose a friend betrays your trust. The pain and anger can be overwhelming, leading you to lash out or cut them off completely without any discussion. While your reaction is understandable, acting out of anger might close the door on any possibility of understanding, reconciliation, or personal growth. Like the snake, your reaction could end up causing more harm to yourself than to the other person. Sometimes people might hurt us unintentionally, yet we respond with anger and resentment, hoping to exact revenge. This only serves to poison our own minds and bodies. As the saying goes, resentment is like drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. When we hold on to resentment, our peace is shattered and it eats away at us like a cancer. The energy spent on plotting revenge or harboring grudges is energy taken away from our own growth and happiness. Think of another scenario. A driver cuts you off in traffic. Your immediate response might be to honk furiously or tailgate them, letting your anger dictate your actions. This kind of reaction only raises your stress levels and increases the likelihood of an accident. No! The other driver might not even notice or care about your reaction, leaving you as the only one affected by your anger. Instead, it's better to practice compassion and let go of negative emotions. Letting go doesn't mean we're weak. It means we're refusing to give others the power to control our happiness. We are in charge of our own lives and destinies. When we choose to release anger and resentment, we free ourselves to focus on building a better life. By showing <laughs> compassion, we open the door to understanding and healing. For example, instead of reacting angrily to the colleague who took credit for your idea, Crazy. you might calmly discuss the situation and express your feelings. This approach not only preserves professional relationships, but also demonstrates your integrity and strength. In personal relationships, approaching betrayal with a desire to understand and heal can lead to deeper connections and personal growth. It allows you to address the root causes of the betrayal and work towards a resolution that strengthens the relationship. Choose to release the anger and resentment and focus on building a better life for yourself. The story of the snake and the saw is a reminder that our reactions define our reality. We have the power to choose compassion over anger, understanding over resentment, and peace over turmoil. Thank you for watching, and good luck.